Hi and welcome students. In this Microsoft PowerPoint 2016 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the ribbon and the status bar. Let's get started. So this tutorial is meant for beginners who are learning how to use PowerPoint. The goal of this video is to go over the different tabs and show you the different groups and buttons within them so that even if you don't know where necessarily the button is that you're looking for, you'll actually be able to find it just based off of what the uh, tabs contain. So the first thing that you need to know is that the file tab is right up here. This always takes you to your backstage view. This really isn't uh, used for editing the presentation so much. It's mostly used for saving the file or printing or exporting. So that's what the file tab does. And this is the only tab that takes you into the backstage view. Each other tab will keep you on this main screen here. From there you have the home tab. This one you're going to use all the time. Uh, this is where you would uh, use the clipboard group for things like copy, cut, and paste the slides group to insert new slides on your presentation or change the layout of a current slide. The font group is for changing all of your font settings. So this is going to be things like increasing and decreasing font size, changing your font color, bold, italics, all of that will be inside of this group right here. Over here in paragraph, this is where you would set up your paragraph alignment, things like double spacing, bullets, numbering. Over here is the drawing group. This is where you add in shapes and this is where you can change the color, outline, and effects of those shapes. Editing is used primarily for find and replace, which means if you want to find a uh, certain word within your presentation, that's where you would look here. The insert group is exactly what it sounds like. This is where you're going to insert videos, um, pictures, word art, anything like that. So the slides group, this is the uh, new slide button. You can insert tables from this group, pictures, online pictures or screenshots, as well as the illustrations group over here, which is where you could put a chart and shapes and things like that. So that's primarily what this tab is used for. Over here is the design tab. The design tab doesn't have that many buttons in it. This is where you're going to change your themes. Okay, so this is the overall look of your presentation. Typically when you're in this tab, it's going to affect the whole presentation, not individual slides. So again, this is where you change your themes or your theme colors or your variants. Over here is where you could customize your background as well. So this is in the customize group on the right side. Um, as far as transitions goes, Transitions is the way that you transition from one tab to another. What that means is uh, when one, or sorry, not one tab, but rather one uh, slide to another. What that means is that, let's say I choose random bars, you guys will see that that's kind of the transition into that slide. Over here, you're going to see the timing group. The timing group is used for uh, basically <clears throat> Uh, applying a sound in between the slides or even uh, kind of setting up timings that you can switch to the next slide. So if you're setting up maybe like a photo album presentation, then it would be how much time that actually displays on that uh, slide before it goes to the next one. Animations tab is a lot like the transitions tab, only this is with individual elements on this page. So let's say I had a bulleted list, I could actually set up an animation for that bulleted list that it appears in steps rather than all at once, which, which can be really useful when you're giving a presentation. The timing and advanced animation group are similar to the timing and advanced in, uh, animation group within the transitions tab. The slideshow tab is for viewing and presenting your slideshow. Uh, you could see that within this group here, and you could also set up your slideshow so that um, you can set up presenter view and things like that so that you can um, <clears throat> show your notes on one screen and the presentation on another screen, and that's primarily how you would set up your slideshow. The review tab is primarily for checking spelling uh, and uh, adding in comments and things like that, but that's not really used as, as often for most PowerPoint users. Finally, the View tab is how you can zoom in, zoom out on your page. You could uh, view the different um, views in PowerPoint, like Outline View or Reading View, depending on what you're doing. And then finally, the show group where you can show the ruler, grid lines, and guides. So that's kind of what this uh, ribbon here contains. And then I did say I was going to go over the status bar as well, which is down towards the bottom. And you'll see that it currently shows you the slide that you're on, as well as how many slides there are. 
and then over here is the notes where you can add notes to your presentation and comments as well and then on the right side are your different views which again can be accessed from the view tab but you could also do it from the status bar and then you can also check out the zoom level down here and use this to zoom in or zoom out okay uh, and that is how you can uh, navigate around Microsoft PowerPoint. So hopefully this video has taught you a little bit more about what you could expect from the tabs within this program and uh, even if you don't necessarily know how to do something now you kind of have a brief overview of where the buttons that you may be looking for are located. So if this video has been helpful for you please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and have a great rest of your day.